Okay, so let's take a look at this question here, 3a, where we have to find the ratio of two circles that have a given radius. So they don't give us the actual units, they just give us numerical values, and we're asked to find what is the ratio of their circumferences. So if we didn't know really how to get started with this, the key word here is just to think about what is circumference. So circumference is another word for perimeter, um, and we know from circles that circumference is equal to 2 pi r. All right, so what we could do here is just simply do the ratio of the two different circles. So I can have circle one, and I'm gonna divide it by circle two. Now we know from our formula that circle one, okay, we'll say is the first one here that's given is going to be two pi times the radius of 2.5, divided by the second circle, which is two pi times the radius of 3.2. So right away we see that the pi's and the twos will cancel leaving us a fraction of 2.5 over 3.2. Now we could convert this to a decimal, but often with the ratios or um, um, a ratio of some, some value of one to another, we want to keep it as expressed as a fraction. Okay, but this one has a decimal in it, so an easy way to remove that is just to multiply by a factor of 10 or 100 or whatever number that would remove the decimal spot. So in this case, we just need to move it over one spot. So if we multiply the top and bottom by 10, we will get a, a ratio or a fraction of 25 to 32. So that tells us that the circumference ratio um, is equal to 25 30 seconds, okay, which is um, the ratio of essentially the two radius units. Now, the, the thing that you need to kind of understand um, at a little deeper level is that circumference is proportional to the measurement of radius. Okay, radius actually to the first power. Um, so, because radius is a linear measurement and circumference therefore is directly proportional um, to that. So if you increase the radius by a certain amount, you're increasing the circumference by an equivalent um, um, ratio amount, all right? So, so if we grow the radius um, by a certain value, the circumference grows as the, this given ratio of the two here. Okay, so this is an important kind of factor to remember. Um, circumference is a linear measurement, okay, and radius is also a linear measurement. Therefore, circumference and radius are proportionally related to each other. Um, so if we were to really do this question quickly, we wouldn't have to calculate circumference. We could just take the ratio of the two radiuses. So we could have just went directly to 2.5 divided by 3.2 and then times by 10 to turn it into a... Um, a fraction. Okay, so that's um, some of the background on how you do that question.